Nation. Hello, Lee Kemp here for another week on the podcast with Jose Noya. Ryan Boniface sadly not with us this week. He can't make it and it shows because the technical errors are accruing massively without Ryan to keep us on track. How are you, Joe, anyway? Because it's me. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, Lee. Issues this um, week. I'm good. I had a little bit of a cough, but I know you've been really suffering, haven't you? So I'm really... Big kudos to you for keeping going, my friend. How are you doing? Yeah, I don't really I'm good. I don't want to hear anything about your cough because I'm certain mine will have been far worse. Of course, of course. All right, <laughs> I'll let you get on with it. Thank you, everyone out there, for listening, watching, supporting us. Those joining on TikTok, just follow Jay Noya underscore inspiration. Nation over there isn't just a podcast. He's out there each and every day putting out some great content. Um, and you can follow us on social media, on Twitter, at listen to I N listen T-O-I-N as well. So, Joe, I believe that by default that I had a topic last week and Ryan is not here. You must be up this week. I am. I am. I'm um, just going to give a quick shout out to Solka for jo- following us. So thank you so much for Solka, S-O-L-Q-R. Thank you for following. Really appreciate it. Join 10,000 followers. Thank you. Yeah, but it's up for me. It's up for me. Thank you for following. So you get a shout I out. I also just want to say to you, uh, star, uh, brilliant. one four so, six six seven four what? nine. just use a four four one four. Four, four, lots of numbers. We feel sorry for you and your current problem you're sharing with us. <laughs> I love that, Lee, by the way. That's hilarious. Uh, brilliant. I love it. Um, fantastic. Right. Okay. Let's get on with it. Shall I get on with it? Absolutely. Go for it. Right. I My, my subject is going to be a bit different. It's going to be a bit different this week. Um, so I got inspired and I, I love inspiration. You know me. This is why it's called Inspiration Nation Podcast. I got inspired by a story. And it's a story um, that's um, called The Boy, the Mole, the Fox and the Horse by Charlie Mackesy. Have you ever heard that? Seen that before? Not heard of that before, I have to say. So I never heard of the book. My beloved brought the book home because apparently one of her one of her friends recommended it. And actually over Christmas, they released a uh, animated animated uh, show of the story. So. What we're doing with it? You're right. What are you after? Oh, my beloved, just runnings, okay. runnings on the podcast. Yeah. Um. So what I want to do with this book, I found it really inspiring. So what I did actually on my TikTok and guys, and my follow on my TikTok, there is I've actually um, I've actually posted a, a, a clip of a really good part of the story. So what I'm going to do with my for for my sessions so far, I'm gonna and Ryan's gonna have to review this podcast. You have to remind Ryan he's gonna have to watch this because this is gonna be a part one. And we're going to go through this book. I'm going to read it out because it's like a short story. It's like a short story, but it's quite it looks quite thick, but it's actually quite short. It's all anime. It's all like pictures and stuff. This is, a, I think this is a great book. I like this. It's a great book because it's 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 like you can sort of see it's aimed at children, but actually it's got real good lessons for us. It doesn't matter what age you are. It's got great lessons. Actually, my wife finished reading this. I had tears in my eyes. That's how because there's lessons in it. I think are really important across all ages. Um, so I want to share this with us and I want to create this. So in, in the YouTube channel, I've got this bit of a book review. So I'm going to be doing this sort of thing, which I think is quite great. I think it'd be interesting. I'll, I'll see how it goes anyway. We'll see how it goes. Right. So here we go. Bit of Jack and Ori for you. Um, no, so it feels, like a, night, feels like a night off for me. I like this. So I'm going to read through. So one of the things I'm going to set up as well is that I want you to stop. When you think you hear something, you think, oh, I want to stop there. And you've got something you think, oh, I've heard that. Can I just stop? And I think I've got a lesson off the back of that. You can stop me reading and we'll stop. Um, other than that, I will stop and then I'll review and then we'll talk about lessons. How does that sound? Plan. I like it. Right. Okay. Let me go on with it. So The Boy, the Mole, the Fox and the Horse by Charlie Mackesy. So I will hold up the book. I feel like a bit <laughs> it's like Jack and Ori back in the day. Um, so it's an animated story uh, by Charlie Mackesy. I said it before. Um, I won't read the blurb at the beginning. I'll just get straight into the story. But it's a lovely little blurb at the beginning. So... This is the boy. I'm just going to read that. Just the boy there. So it's lovely animated. It's a lovely book actually as well. So first things, hello. And you've got the mole there saying hello. Hello, said the boy. What are you doing here? Asked the mole. I'm lost, said the boy. Let's do that so you know where I am in the book. Oh dear, well that's no good. So how did you get here? Asked the mole. Let's do that as well. Well, well, hello. Well, Hello, who? Hello, cake. What cake? Asked the boy. That cake. It looks delicious, spectacular. 
I mean, it's magnificent. I can't see a cake, said the boy. It's, it's, and it's sort of rolling up to the hill. Here. It's, oh, it's a tree. Oh, yeah. it's really there. It's a lovely tree and it did look a bit like cake. So yes, well, no cake and you're lost. Yes. An old mole once told me when you're lost, follow the river and it will take you home. But I can't see a river. Perhaps you could see one from the from that branch. And if you happen to see a cake while you're up there. I'm so sorry, said the boy. Achoo. Oh, no, I'm sorry, replied the mole. Are you OK? asked the boy. Completely my fault, said the mole. I'm really sorry. Well, no, thank you. I was feeling a bit warm, actually. And it's like they're just in the tree. What can you see? said the mole. Nothing really. Oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? asked the mole. Kind, said the boy. Hmm, said the mole. Nothing beats kindness. It sits quietly behind, beyond all things. And that's where I want to stop, because that for me is one of the big lessons. And it's actually on that part of the story where I actually did record this bit of the animation. Yeah. So I want to talk about kindness. And in my little clip, I put kindness is king. So, Lee, what are your thoughts so far on the story and a lesson of kindness? What are your thoughts? I completely agree with the sentiment about it being king. I think if it's the right thing to say, three or four years ago, it became a bit of a trendy thing to be talking about it. And I don't think it had been out there a lot beforehand as, as something people were promoting. I think the fact that it is, is a good thing. What was the exact words? It comes before all things. How did it say yeah. it? Nothing beats kindness. That's it. It sits quietly beyond all things. Which I think is a good lesson. I think if you can make that your number one mantra, I think that makes, well, for you and for other people, makes things a lot better, I would say. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think it's that thing of actually having that intention yeah. of kindness. And actually, since we've been sort of back in the new year, and I've decided to get right back into my journal. I hadn't journaled since the 12-hour walk that I did. And so I've now started... I've not mentioned this 12-hour walk before, Jay. Did I mention it? No, just once <laughs> twice. doesn't work so well without riding, though, does it? Bless it. <laughs> So I've just started on an, an intention. I'm putting an intention bit on my journal. And one of them is kindness. Second one's in the moment. And the last one is the one you've adopted, non-judgment. I'm, I'm going to try and be intentional about all those three things throughout the day. And I think they, so, they kind of go hand in hand as well, don't they? Yeah, I think they do. And I think if I can, if for, so for me, and I'm just trying to TikTok and everybody here, if we can maintain an air of that going into every conversation, every interaction we have with others, I think that's going to put you in a good place. Even when you get people that are going to be horrible, that are going to be in your face, because let's face it, you are going to face people that aren't going to be very nice sometimes, right? Or they've got an agenda and you'll want to react to something. Um, so yeah, that was the reason why I love this. And in fact, on Instagram, this little post that I've done is that got a quite a bit of traction as well, which is that still resonating with people quite that's well. Really good. So I'm doing it anyway. How much time we've got left? I don't have much time we've got left, but um, go for it, I Jay. Might... Go on to your next bit. I'll keep you on so track. Go to the next bit. All right. Okay. So there we got to. Got to this bit here. Got to this bit here. Bit of Jack and Ori story. This is quite interesting reading this. Actually, it makes me a bit nervous. To be fair. Um, here we go. So much beauty we need to look after, said the mole. Yes, so much. I'm just looking out there. I've got to make sure I don't skip pages. Oof. Are you all right? Sorry. Yes, totally fine. Just thought we should start looking for that river. So he's just fallen off the tree. Lemon drizzle. This is quite a hill, so they're just climbing up a hill there. Um, is this better? Asked the boy. So the boy picks up the mole. Well, I don't want to be too much trouble. It's okay. Well, thank you. What is that over there? It's the wild, said the mole. Don't fear it. Look, I can see a river, said the boy. So they're just looking at the river. So you can see that there. Wait, what? I said, don't fear it. Not, tra not charge straight at it. I mean, really, good grief. So just charging at the river, he's going towards the river. Do you have a favourite saying, asked the boy. Yes, said the mole, what is it? If at first you don't succeed, have some cake. I see, does it work? Every time. Did the old mole say which way we should follow? Asked the boy. I didn't ask her that. Oh, isn't it odd? 
we can only see our outsides, but nearly everything happens on the inside. I'm going to stop there because I think this is another good lesson. So you know, just staring at the river and what the boy says, I'm going to repeat this again, says, isn't it odd? We can only see our outsides, but nearly everything happens on the inside. What are your thoughts on that, Lee? I just want to uh, wind back slightly as well to the not charge, you know, the don't fear it, not charge into it bit as well, because I think there is a difference between not fearing things or respecting things as opposed to just being reckless and going head first. I guess it's the whole, we talked about it before, again, so there's a difference between living in the moment as opposed to just living without a plan, and they're two completely different things, and you can plan and live in the moment as much as you can not fear but also be you know respectful or cautious or deliberate or whatever it is so i i think that one which you started with at the start of that bit there's a really good less a really good illustration on the river yeah. bit yeah and um, so yeah go winding back to that i think you're absolutely right about that because i've been guilty of that just just going just go straight forward and not having consideration perhaps maybe some, some things and i just say i think people you, can other people good. right that's it. And people can misinterpret when you say don't fear it. It doesn't mean don't be aware or don't understand or don't plan. But, you know, fear becomes that thing that completely blocks you from doing anything. And you should do things, but you don't just do them blindly. And so I think that's a that's a good illustration there on that one. It doesn't strike him as much the inside outside one, if I'm totally honest with you, Joe. It's a, and I get the message. I just don't know what that it doesn't it doesn't evoke anything in me the same as the river bit did. So for me, it's about, for me, this is the, this is the imp important thing because everything we sense is actually on the inside. You know, all these, in, like, like we have an interaction now, we're on TikTok, but actually that's outside, but we all sense it inside. Because actually, if you think about it, we interpret everything by, by what's inside us. Nothing's really, when you think about it, is the, you people ask, is this actually all real, right? Because actually we all experience everything from the inside. It's not on the outside. And that's what I love about it. Fear, you know, excitement. All those things, and we get emotions. They're all on the inside, reacting or responding to the things on the outside. And that's what I think they're getting at: is that, isn't it strange that, you know, actually when you think about it, our brain is locked in our skull. It's never seen the light of day, ever, ever. It's just interpreting everything around us, you know. And we are making sense of the world through our own eyes, but we've never actually been outside ourselves. That's what I think I love about that. Is that I love that whole thing around that actually everything's up for interpretation. And so we've got to be really clear about our intentions and really clear about how we treat other people. Like the thing about not rushing, about checking ourselves, like going, well, actually, how am I feeling about this? Or what am I thinking about this? And is that true? as possible right because actually we're never going to get to the truth really if you think about it because we can only interpret everything and that's what i think that gets at that's why i think that's a really deep lesson i think that's a really lesson that when you really think about it that actually we've never seen the light of day really if you think if we, if we, if we think of ourselves inside we've never actually been outside ourselves you can imagine it you can do the fly on the wall and be but actually you've never ever been outside yourself right you might look in the mirror but you've never you've not seen yourself outside which is the weirdest thing then I think about it even more. It just makes me think that it's really strange because you just imagine it. It's um, when you see yourself on video, you still don't get the whole picture, and that's what I love about it. So that for me, that's the lesson. Someone on Twitter, someone on TikTok uh, has asked, "What am I reading?" I'm reading "The Boy, the Mole, the Fox, and the Horse" by Charlie Mackesy. Just to let you know. Anything else from you, Lee? Do you think we've got enough for one more? I was going to say. I was going to say. I think there's one one more passage in you, Joe, before we carry this one over. Okay, I, don't, I haven't seen the, the time yet. Right, okay, there we go. So I'm just going to sort of repeat that last bit. Isn't it odd? We can only see our outsides, but nearly everything happens on the inside. So now they're by the river, just there. It says here, is there something there? Asked the boy. It's getting dark. Shall we? Um, Good idea. We can set off properly tomorrow, said the mole. Imagine how we would be if we were less afraid, said the boy. Most of the old moles I know wish they'd listened less to their fears and moved to their dreams, replied the mole. What do you dream about? How? said the boy. Oh, what's that like? I don't know. I'm not sure. Hmm. But I know I need one. And now something's coming into the picture. The fox is coming. Oh, golly. He looks hungry, said the mole. He does. It's okay. The fox has gone, said the boy. So it's just gone. 
What was that sound? Asked the boy. I'm not sure. Do you think someone is hurt? Maybe. Should we go and check? Good idea. I'll stay in here to keep you warm. Okay, said the boy. Thank you. And there you go. Just got, just going to go and see what's going on. It's the fox, said the boy. He's trapped. Sounds like just a trapped fox. Sir. Oh dear, whispered the mole. Please be careful, said the boy. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid, said the mole. So the, the mole is actually going up, up to the up to the fox. If it wasn't, if I wasn't caught in this snare, said the fox, I'll kill you, said the fox. If you stay in that snare, you'll die, said the mole. So the mole chewed through the wire with his tiny teeth. You did so well. And so what happened was that the mole released the fox. Anything from that? This feels like a good cliffhanger point to be leaving as well, Joe. I was hoping you're going to end on a point with a little bit of drama. Because is he now going to get eaten by the fox like, like he promised? Or is he going to be rewarded for letting him go? I think back to the, the theme of the book with kindness being above all else. He's actually, even though he's been threatened, he's still done what, you know, you would say morally is the right thing and freed him from being trapped, which is a good a, thing, but might work out to be a bad thing for him. Yeah, I think it's in those moments, isn't it? Where even if you may not like the person, morally... The, the strongest thing you can do is the right thing, although it yeah. may be the hardest thing. And in that clip, he's basically gone off and helped someone who potentially was going to hurt them. Um, and like you said, it's the hardest thing, but I think sometimes as well, there's the reason to not do it isn't because it's hard, it's because it's risky, I suppose. But then if he mm -hmm. doesn't, if he just chooses not to do it and he doesn't know what the outcome would be and he walks away, he's got to live with knowing he didn't do anything with it. So there's a bit of me with that. If you are going to, if you would worry about it, then it's almost easier to take the hard decision because it's got the best long term. Well, hopefully the best long term. Well, you don't know, do you? That's the whole, that's it's the an, thing, isn't it? It's I guess it's an unknown outcome against a certainty of knowing you're going to be doubting yourself. It's a tough decision though. And again, it depends on the sort of person you are as well. But if we can practice these things like in the real life, and I can see this sort of coming up for people, maybe you don't get along with, maybe there's family members or something. And this isn't so, so I think the wire is a metaphor for people, you know, that people may not appreciate you, like you, whatever. But if it came down to the crunch, what would you do? You know, would you still help them or would you just like walk away and just leave them to suffer? And I think this is a really great lesson because I think, you know, if we can get more kindness out there in the world, you know, and do these types of things. And, and sometimes we don't always make the right choices. Like, I know I haven't made the right choice in the past. You know, I've reacted to things where people haven't been too, too kind and I've not been kind back. Is that the right thing to have done? Right. And these are the things, the lessons that I think we need to take away from it. But who knows in the next part of the story, I'll have to bookmark that. Yeah, so keep it there two. exactly where it is. And we'll run into that next week. We'll do a part two. Absolutely. We'll do, we'll do a part two to it. But I say, it, it, I think this is, and I would encourage anybody who's not watched it to go catch doing PPC iPlayer, go catch the animation. It's really great. Um, as I say, I, I, by the end of it, I was actually in tears. Like I had water. I mean, I, I watched it on my own early in the morning. It was quite dark and it was, it was, it was a lovely, um, it was a lovely, uh, just a lovely feeling to sort of think, God, oh, there's a lot of good lessons in here. And I think this is why, this is why I think it's very useful. But Ch Charlie Mackesy, absolutely ge genius book, absolutely genius book, but written in a way that everybody can understand it. And I love it. I can anyway. see, I can see why it spoke to you, Joe. I absolutely can. And we will carry that on next week with part two. Do you uh, mean, are we going to do the part two or are we going to like, do your bit and do nah. the cycle? Do you think we should just do one after we're gonna, the other with this We're going to run straight into part two. We'll, okay. we'll, we'll mix up the uh, mix up the order a little bit. Okay. All right. That's cool. That's cool. That's good. Fine by me. All right. That's cool. That is where we'll go out there. We thank everyone for supporting us, watching us, YouTube, downloading us, whatever podcast platform you're on. Please leave us a review, hit that five star button, hit subscribe. All those things help us in the algorithms because tell friends and family. And for those out there that are trawling through the archives, we see you each and every week. We appreciate it. Loads and loads of content. Just head it over to inspirationnation.org.uk for our full back catalogue, as well as the merch store. Joe supporting a hoodie there, I believe. I've got I my am, mug the old somewhere. style, old school. Hoodie. I like it. Look at that one. I've got my Inspiration Nation mug. Oh, you got I've the mug. Got absolutely the mug. aren't using to store spare change and stuff in. Brilliant. Love it. Love um, it. All over inspirationnation.org. But you can, of course, follow us on social media at listen to I N, listen T O I N, and Joe himself. 
jnoyer underscore inspiration nation just put jose noyer inspiration nation into google and you will find him on pretty much every platform that exists we thank everyone on tiktok for joining us again just follow joe you can join us live every week as we're recording get involved with the show we appreciate all the support over there as well right i think just for me to count us down now go for it three two one inspiration nation inspiration nation Catch you guys Catch later. You guys later. <laughs> Let me know what your biggest takeaway is from this conversation. I'd love to know. Put it in the comments below and I'll respond to every single comment because that's the commitment I make to you in this community. Also, don't forget to subscribe right over here because we need you to build this Inspiration Nation community to get the podcast out there and to help other people for free. And also, don't forget to hit that bell right over here because if you hit that bell, then you're going to know when another videos go live. And don't forget to check out these videos right here here next to me because those are other podcast episodes that can really help you out i really really appreciate it and lastly don't forget out to check the newsletter the link is in the description below that's where i can talk directly to you without through the youtube throughout the social because you can have a direct communication channel with me through the email and you can get to know everything that's going on with inspiration nation ask me questions and even give me suggestions of what you want us to talk about next so i'd love to see you in the next video so please click on those links please follow through please Let's get this community building. I appreciate you. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Inspiration Nation, and I'll catch you guys later.